We all have big dreams and goals. We all want to be successful. For little Martunas, success meant playing professional soccer. Unfortunately, the 2004 tsunami happened. It threatened to cut short his soccer dream and left him with a lifetime scar. Unbeknownst to him, this tragedy would take him closer to his dreams. At his lowest ebb, Martunas meets Ronaldo. What happens next is transformational. Here is the spectacular thing that Ronaldo did. Martunas, 7, lived in Banda Ake, Indonesia with his family. He lived a simple life and derived pleasure from playing soccer with his friends in the neighborhood. On December 26, 2004, Martunas was playing soccer when he suddenly heard a strange piercing noise and tremor. He was wearing a Portuguese jersey with Rui Costa's name printed on it. Unknown to him, this jersey would play a huge role in what is about to befall him. Due to his strong survival instinct, Martunas took to his heels after the tsunami started. This tsunami was the infamous disaster that took place in December 2004, claiming the lives of roughly 230,000 people and leaving 1.7 million people homeless. On getting home, he met his frightened parents packing their luggage. A few minutes later, the family left their home in a neighbor's truck, but something terrifying happened. The truck overturned when they met with a strong wave. It washed the whole family away in different directions. Looking up, the seven-year-old boy saw the saddest view ever. His siblings were trying to survive the wave, and his mother's effort at grabbing his little sister was futile. Sadly, they would never see again as one complete family. Despite the heart-wrenching situation, Martunas held on to his life and survived the surge of water by clinging onto a tree. Finally, he found a floating piece of wood and made it to his abode. Hell-bent on staying alive, Martunas survived on water and only food he found floating on the sea. A while later, the water calmed down and the wood he laid on washed up on the shore. Although it seemed like a flash of hope, Martunas had a bigger task ahead. Confused and alone, he wandered around looking for people. It was at this point that he started losing his will and energy. He became frail. The rainbow comes just after the storm, and Martunas's case is going to be this way soon enough. After 20 days, a group of British journalists flying over the air were filming a report about the tsunami when they spotted Martunas on the island. The journalist swiftly gave him food and water before taking him to the hospital. The doctor gave them one of the most frightening news ever. According to the doctor who attended to Martunas, if the little boy had spent another day on the island, his condition would have deteriorated and his chances of survival would be slim. Despite his condition, Martunas left the doctors in awe the first time he spoke. I was not afraid at all at that time because I still wanted to be alive to meet my family and to be a football player. Sadly, Martunas had lost his mom and sisters during the tsunami, but he was able to reconnect with his grandfather and father at the hospital. Homeless with nowhere to turn to, Martunas and his father hoped for a rare miracle. Soon enough, heaven listened to their intercession in a rather dignifying way. The news about Martunas soon circulated and it caught the attention of everyone. But what was even more mesmerizing and got people talking was Martunas's Portugal jersey, which he was still putting on. He soon became a hero of soccer. Something bigger happened. Martunas's story caught the attention of soccer superstar Cristiano Ronaldo. He met with Martunas, and what he did afterward is mind-blowing. Ronaldo gave Martunas's father enough money to refurbish their family home. He also paid for Martunas' high school tuition, but these are only a few of the things he did for the boy. One of them will leave you breathless. Five months later, Martunas' dream of becoming a professional soccer player drew nearer when the Portuguese Football Federation invited Martunas and his father Sarbini to a football match, all thanks to Ronaldo. At this point, Ronaldo and the little boy's story became viral, but Ronaldo did not stop here. He still had more in store for the boy. Later. Ronaldo visited Martunas and his family in Indonesia. During this period, the duo were together and the bond between them grew. The famous soccer player also gave Martunas a cell phone to make communication between each other easier. Three years later, Ronaldo visited Martunas again. This time around, he advised him to take soccer seriously. Martunas heeded this advice and it didn't take long before he became a local superstar at the soccer school. Luck shone on Martunas again when sporting Lisbon offered him a contract in the youth academy. Amidst the celebration, Martunas' smile froze when it slowly dawned on him that his father wouldn't be able to go with him 
because they had no money to rent or buy a house. Just when Martonis was caught between the devil and the deep blue sea, Ronaldo showed up again. What happened next was stunning. After hearing about Martinez' professional contract, Ronaldo decided to reward his bravery and perseverance. He invited Martinez and his father to Portugal and presented them with a luxurious house in Portugal. Just wow. I am grateful to Cristiano for everything he has done. He has changed my life and asked for nothing in return, Martinez said in one of his interviews. Cristiano Ronaldo isn't the only one with a heart of gold. Here is how Neymar inspired these poor kids from Brazil. What he did is incredible. As a child, footballer Neymar was inspired by people who he refers to as his heroes. Due to this, he also strives to inspire kids to achieve their dreams. Teaming up with Puma, Neymar hosted a memorable day for the children of the Centro de Cora FC, a local football club located in Neymar Jr.'s home state of Sao Paulo. It all started with the coach asking the kids to go into the locker room for a surprise. Anticipating the good news, the kids rushed into the locker room to find bags containing Puma shoes. Amidst bright smiles, cheers, and laughter, the kids wore their shoes. After this, they were asked to go into their classroom to receive their second gift. Neymar had more in store for these kids. He wanted to give them something more than shoes, something that could positively impact their lives forever. How he does this is unthinkable. Neymar believes that the future is ours to create, and this is exactly what he wants for the kids. On getting to the classroom, the children received a drawing paper. Unbeknownst to them, the paper contained a message from Neymar Jr. The message will melt your hearts. After getting a go-ahead to check the drawing paper, the kids couldn't believe their eyes when they saw the message. This is what Neymar Jr. wrote. Hi, how are you? It is a difficult time, and a lot has changed. But some things never change. Our dreams. The future belongs to those who believe in greatness. Now visualize your dreams on this paper. Neymar Jr. After reading Neymar's message, the kids were moved to tears. But something even more beautiful happened. While drawing, the screen suddenly came on, and Neymar was right there, waving at the kids. The kids couldn't believe their eyes. Not only had he given them Puma shoes, he'd also inspired them to visualize their dreams and now they were having a live video call with him. Mind blowing. Neymar had one goal with the video call. He wanted to inspire the kids even more. It's easy to ask them to draw their goals, which could easily be kept in their bags and forgotten. But Neymar was generous enough to also inspire them with his story during the video call. You have to be very focused. Study hard and you'll make it. Deal? He asked. The kid responded with a thunderous deal. They couldn't have been happier. Not only do they have good pairs of shoes to play football, but they've also been tasked to be successful. And it's not just famous football players that reach out in a helping hand from time to time. Stay tuned because this next story is unbelievable. There is always a reward for a kind heart. This poor family never knew their kind heart would pay off someday. Here is how Ellen DeGeneres surprised this family. Chris and Robert Daniels would have their lives changed after winning a grand prize at the DeGeneres' talk show in 2019. Before receiving the gifts, the family got a surprise visit at their apartment in Hawthorne, California. After the short visit, the family was transported to the studio where they joined DeGeneres on the stage. Something stood out about this couple. Even though they didn't have enough, they still freely gave out to others and this is exactly why they were picked to win this prize. Acknowledging this, DeGeneres said, no matter what you're struggling with, no matter how you're living paycheck to paycheck, you still want to pay it forward. You still help others. After exchanging more words with the excited couple, DeGeneres said, You're here because we're going to do something big that we've never done for any family ever. It's the biggest thing we've ever done. After this, she revealed that the show had partnered with Cheerios to give the couple $500,000. With this huge amount of money, the couple could take care of a lot. They could clear their debt and even continue to sponsor their children in college. You're in a two-bedroom apartment. You can buy a house now, DeGeneres suggested, while the couple beamed with smiles. But DeGeneres was not done surprising this family yet. She still had more up her sleeve. Finally, she revealed the second surprise to the joyous couple. Cheerios was giving the family another $500,000 to pay it forward to others in need. Apart from these gifts, the family also won other prizes, which included thousands of dollars in gift cards, a widescreen TV, and two plane tickets. These are awesome stories of celebrities giving back to the poor. 
However, giving isn't restricted to celebrities alone. Anyone can brighten someone else's day by just giving them something. Have you ever received a gift when you need it the most? What did you receive and how did you feel after receiving it?